Now, turning to a very interesting interview, undergoing surgery can be frightening, and the last thing you want when you're under the knife is for the surgeon to be working blindly. Well, one Israeli company has created an amazing piece of technology that will make this issue a thing of the past. CEO of Flomed, Amir Gila, joins me in the studio with more. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. So, to begin, tell us about this product that you guys have created. Well, this product is simple automation for a task that uh, should have been done by robot and not by human. It's a simple task of swapping bags of solution that actually wash the lens of the endoscope. endoscope. So for those who don't know, endoscope is the lens that goes into the body during surgery. Yeah. And uh, today, you, can you tell us about how we deal with cleaning the endoscope today? Endoscopic procedure actually enters the endoscope into the body and through a small opening. So actually the vision is on the screen and the surgeon is looking at the screen while he's cutting anything inside, there's bleeding and it might cover the lens. So they're using now uh, solution bags, saline solution for example, which are washing the lens all the time. So it's consistently washing the lens yeah. so that the doctors can see what they're doing during yes. the surgery. And the uh, saline bags are three liter bags that are hang on a pole and the nurse has to open up the next bag when one is finished. So constantly replace them. Constantly replace Manually, them. Manually, right? Manually. Nurse opening very... and hanging them. And if the nurse is not doing it in a timely manner and the flow is stopped and there's bleeding, the view is blocked and the surgeon sees nothing, actually nothing. Right, and the surgery takes longer, which is more dangerous and, for the And patient. at this point, he actually calls the nurse and says, hey, where are you? And she usually she answers him, and I saw it happening. And this is <laughs> silly that a uh, patient is on yeah, the... Yeah, the doctors and nurses <laughs> have to be screaming at each other to replace the saline bag, so this the is endoscope a, is clean. This is exactly what's happening. And every doctor that I spoke with it in uh, urological uh, procedures, in gynecological procedure, in arthroscopic procedure, every doctor knows the problem. Every doctor experiences it. So you guys have created a product that essentially eliminates this issue, right? Tell us yes, about it. Yes, we very simply, we weigh the bags. We know that when bag is going to be finished and then we move automatically to the next bag, we cut the neck of the bag and insert the spike into that bag and continue the flow without any stopping. This seems like such a basic idea, yet it hasn't existed. Now, obviously, what inspired you to create this, this aqueduct was essentially complaints coming from doctors around yes, the world, yes. right? Yes, actually the founder is the doctor, one of the founders, and another one was a salesperson that said, well, we shouldn't have this problem at the hospital. It's, it's OR. It's, it's so simple to, to solve, and everybody suffers from it. So he had the idea, and we raised the money, and we built a prototype and tested it in Nation Hospital in Haifa, and it worked very nice, automation. We learned many other things uh, about how to do it in a real-life uh, environment, and it worked nice. And it saves a lot of money for hospitals as well, right? It does save because time is money. Imagine that you save by this machine. You have uh, several bags uh, actually on a carousel which are hanging there. And the nurse needs just to put the bags on. It, she doesn't need to open it. And uh, it will be opened automatically when needed only. Now, on the operation, uh, when you finish operation, you throw away uh, the bag and the tubing currently. On our system, you won't need. You have a small part which uh, maintains the sterility of the bags, and then you can use the bags for the next operation. So it's environmentally friendly as yeah. well. Yeah, so you don't throw away bags, a solution, it saves money. You save the time of setting up uh, the next procedure because you have to remove the bag and put the next bag. So you're saving time. Saving, let's say, even half an hour, which is a good time for a knee operation, makes like $1,000 for the hospital. Yeah, it's huge. If you have 100 days of, uh, hospitaliz of uh, operations a, a year, which is less than usual, it's $100,000 that you save just by small right. system. And, I mean, it's clearly a liability to have people under the knife for longer than necessary. And if this is one of the issues that would cause that, exactly. then it needs to be changed. Now, exactly. 
Where can this product be found? Is it currently on the market? No, we currently had the prototype tested in Nation Hospital and we're looking for funds for the next systems to be built. Actually, we have uh, gone with a China-Israel program and we have a Chinese partner and we adapt the system to China and getting money from the Israel Innovation Authority and a little money from our own investors. We will need in the future more funds, uh, but the market is huge. There are half a million uh, ORs in the world. Each OR needs such a system. And even if we sell it at $10,000, it is a market of billions. That's unbelievable. It looks like you guys have created an incredible product that can save lives and also, you know, um, could be a great investment for some of our viewers who might be interested. <laughs> might Thank be. you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you for having us.